All right, hello everyone, and now welcome, welcome, welcome to a game between, uh, I believe this is Fly versus Romantic. I will turn off Fog of War. This is on Northern Isle, and just getting everything in position here, ready to go. Human versus Orc, um, another Human versus Orc matchup. I uh, just wanted to make sure I didn't do too much Night Elf as of late, trying to avoid those games. Um, I don't know how many times I need to see a Keeper of the Grove give life to trees and then have a bunch of plants entangle and choke down, choke down units. Romantic over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Fly is over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. This is Human versus Orc. And we are just simply waiting to see what hero types um, will be chosen for this game. Now, there are a number of uh, creep camps around the map here, uh, so leveling on creeps is not going to be very difficult. It is going to be an Archmage going up against... <sighs> going up against a Blade Master now, as we are also going into a Barracks. Standard play here, whether or not we will see a second Orc Burrow for Tier 2, or if it will be a very fast tech to Tier 2. Hey, N hey Nua31, how are you doing? as we are looking at a blade master with some potential harassment follow up on how to use that lumber early on that is going to be the big question right now as how you use that lumber does um, determine when you get to tier two when you get your healing items for the um well for from that voodoo lounge or when you will have more units save when you try and go for an orc burrow first nothing of that nature as of yet we should be looking at a quick tech to tier two that seems to be the case yes there it goes teching at the two minute 10 second mark pretty much both sides doing the same exact thing uh, except for romantic is at 24 over 30 supply compared to 20 over 20 for the orc orc will need another burrow there you go getting that orc burrow down now still does not i still do not see a voodoo lounge as the tra uh, what the Tuscar Trapper will get taken out very quickly. Tuscar Trapper will get taken down. That's a 544 creep camp, meaning level two at the end of it. Potion of Greater Mana has been dropped, as the Potion of Greater Mana should be able to well greatly benefit that Archmage. Meanwhile, Blade Master picks up Sentry Wards. Meanwhile, Archmage is down across over here, hoping to finish off the remainder of these units, picking up a Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus 3. Blade Master, very much nearby, may end up trying to steal that experience. Um, yes, he does steal the experience and the gold as the Footman offering protection um, for that Archmage, Archmage from that Blade Master. Archmage here, ready to go. Footman now making their way over here to the bottom left. We're looking at 30 over 30 supply. No additional farms to be added as of yet. That does come as a shock to me. Perhaps we're looking more for the additional healing item shops. That could be the possibility as the Blade Master over here on the bottom left, waiting for the Voodoo Lounge. Quickly going to be buying the Trifecta, the Clarity Potion, the Scroll of Speed, and that Healing Salve from that Voodoo Lounge. Blade Master once again nearby. Is he going to be able to steal the experience again? Oh, no, he does not. And once again, um, let's take a look back off to the north. Blade Master now is still trying to get away. This may be a silly question, but will you stream Warcraft Remastered? And if so, are you going to stream a bit more frequently? Um, I don't know if I can stream more frequently. I, I will stream it um, if, I am, if I find replays for it. But at the same time, if all of a sudden replays become as difficult to get as they are for StarCraft 2, well, there's not much I can really do about that. Let's take a look back down to the south. Blade Master looking to perhaps pick up that Wand of Illusion. Yes, does exactly that as he now breaks Wind Walk and going after that Footman. Footman going to be forced to try and retreat. Romantic already down into the red here. Already down to 66 hit points. One more strike. Uh, one more critical strike will do it. Mountain King. Uh, nope. There goes the Blade Master. Blade Master finishes off the Footman as the Blade Master is still sitting at level 1. Stronghold now done. Shadow Hunter has is being added. Sentry Ward keeping track of all these units. Archmage off to the north is sitting at level 3. Double of Gauntlet's Ogre Strength plus 3 means that, well, it is going to be in a good spot to absorb a bit of damage or perhaps try to give those Gauntlets over to a Strength-based hero. 
Archmage here, ready to go. Footman here, ready to go as well. Water Mentals being dropped down. Damage. As you can take a look, the Orc Burrow may end up getting taken down very, very quickly. Massive repairs are underway. One Orc Burrow, um, well, in danger of falling down to 30 hit points, down to 8 hit points. There it goes. Low hit point Footman needs to try and head back out. It is going to get destroyed at the hands of the Orc Burrows. Meanwhile, the Blade Masters, um, well, trying to push back. Just started the game. Been watching casters in sp supposed attorneys. You are far more entertaining. Do you still cast? Uh, I'm still casting right now. As the Grunt now going to get taken out. Let's take a look. Back off to the north. Blade Master chasing down a footman. Ba back across over here. Footman now trying to retreat. What is Romantic doing? Romantic seems to just be stalling in his tactics. And this is giving time for the Shadow Hunter and the Blade Master to regroup. Um, we are going into dual Arcane Sanctums now. There's a Lone Footman here. There's an Arcane Vault with the Mountain King. But right now, the Archmage is not gaining any experience. If the Archmage is not gaining experience or level and he's not harassing, well, he's actually just wasting his time. Time is, uh, or the clock is the number one thing you need to be aware of in Warcraft 3 or in any real-time strategy game. It's even in the, 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 the genre. Um, you need to manage your time well. Um, microwing, um, building units, gaining experience, those are all things that are absolutely necessary as the Archmage Mountain King now makes its way out. Archmage, um, I would have thought would have had a clarity potion instead drops a water elemental and well um drops a water elemental and still stealing a bit of experience blade master has some easy kills could uh, deal some damage here no hex there Stormbolt onto the blade master let's take a look there goes a footman nice microbe coming in from fly to pick off the lower hit point units continuing to deal damage there is a hex onto the archmage archmage could be in trouble however a quick stormbolt onto the blade master blade master once again gonna break wind onto that archmage archmage in serious trouble here as the archmage down to 70s down to 64 hit points a potion of invulnerability just in time blade master now heading back off to the north here priest are healing up that archmage archmage up to 112 he could see another hex that could be a trouble. A storm ball onto the Blade Master. Blade Master in trouble gets taken down. Blade Master stuck around to try to finish off the Archmage, only to see um, the potion of invulnerability just enough. Mountain King now shows up to the party. Mountain King, scroll of speed now on here. Mountain King, is it going to be able to storm bolt? Is it going to be able to storm bolt? Quick hex and the hex. Well, you can't throw a storm bolt when you are a chicken, literally and unable to get that last bit of damage onto that shadow hunter sorry i meant for sc2 also will you be casting the tourneys coming with war reforge you think i would love to archmage now in trouble will he be able to get back around down to 88 hit points down to 90 down to 64 is it going to be able to get away down to 68 hit points what is going on here there is a heal mountain king nearby the added armor perhaps enough as the Archmage is in serious, serious trouble, um, now getting back from sub-100 hit points. I would love to cast Warcraft 3 tournaments um, if I am invited. Uh, I may set aside some vacation time for that as well. Um, I also know that there could be local tournaments, which I would definitely be interested in casting as well. Blade Master getting win or getting... Um, in a bit of trouble. However, Stormbolt onto the Blade Master saves him. Archmage drops a Water Elemental. Archmage once again in trouble. Down to 116, down to 90. Is it going to be able to stay alive? No, it is not. Hex lasting far too long. The Priest without the spell. And now the Mountain King trying to, well, make that, make that loss not nearly as bad. Casters are making their way over. Grunts could get taken down. There goes another Grunt there. Losing two Grunts for a... Archmage, well, I guess that is a better trade than nothing, as all the are now in retreat again. Yes, uh, I would love to cast in some Warcraft 3 tournaments, reforged or not. Um, I am local to the Orange County, Irvine area. Why doesn't Archmage give MK gauntlets? Archmage... Um, Archmage has been just the focus of so much attention that the bonus 75 hit points or total 150 
is better on the Archmage as it also has passive regeneration, but I take it back now given to the Mountain King so the Mountain King can be in the front line. All right, Mountain King takes grabs a Book of the Dead. All right, unlike in the matchup against the, um, the Undead, Book of the Dead actually works out extremely well in the matchup against Orc, especially if your Orc opponent does not go for the War Mill upgrade for the... Um, War Mill upgrade for the for, uh, fortified armor on the Orc Burrows. Between the casters and the piercing damage, there could be enough to finish it off. Mountain King, seeing that level 2, just shy of level 3. And I mean, uh, when I say just shy, I do mean one experience shy from level 3. All right, looking for just a little bit of experience. Archmage could get to level four here. Mountain King wants that little bit of experience as well. Knows that the big difference between level three and level four as the Mountain King now looks to pull back here. All right, what's going to happen? However, a potential Creepjack could be a problem. There is a Stormbolt onto the Blademaster. And now he was, well, in fact, a bit dazed and confused. There goes another Orc unit there as the Mountain King could try and slow down and bolt a Raider again. However, Blademaster is going to be right in the right position. Rock Golems beating up on that back line. What is going on? Finally alive. Mountain King is in trouble. Stormbolt turns back around on the Blademaster. Blademaster could be in trouble. Spirit Link healing wave just in time right there as the Blademaster survives. Mountain King with the additional hit points and the additional armor able to stay alive still. Archmage wants desperately wants a little bit more um, experience to get to level four level two brilliance aura would be for lack of a better word brilliant as we're taking a look at the rock golem about to get taken down by the blade master blade master with the steel denying level four from the archmage and that is a big deal indeed all right blade master running around no detection at all and now the mountain king who could be regenerating an additional half mana a second uh, well that could have been a big deal instead now just trying to fight back here all right we are not getting any sort of upgrades whatsoever orc peon sorceress could get devoured here let's take a look there is an ensnare onto a spellbreaker slow coming back across the other way blade master is it going to get bolted well trying to um, finish off a blade master so difficult there is the bolt there's that damage ring of regeneration big thunderclap right there as the blade master is still continuing the fight mountain king out of mana nowhere nowhere to really get more mana right now as you take a look raiders are trying to run back militia make their way all the way down here and don't even get to throw a sword and as militia turning back into peasants all right raiders joining in on the fight healing wave grunts could get taken down archmage just trying to get to level four needs a bit more experience still not happening as of yet all right sorcerer is going to get taken down archmage could be in trouble squirrel town portal finally used in order to get the heck out of a bad situation 44 supply compared to 60 romantic with the supply lead but unable to capitalize meanwhile archmage sitting at level three just needs a sliver of more of experience no clarity potion on the archmage instead being used by the mountain king as the mountain king definitely wants those storm bolts all right null overseer most likely going to join in on well no well null overseer will give level four to the archmage finally Perhaps a scout farm will be placed down to in order to get reveal another circlet of nobility on that mountain king, giving that mountain king. Uh, wow, Alacrity, thank you for the subscription. Mountain king circlet of nobility gonna come across here. All right, archmage at level four, level two brilliance aura ready to go. Mountain king sitting at level three will have plenty of mana, and that may be the difference. However, blade master with three circlets of nobility and a ring of regeneration couple that with healing wave and spirit link and that blade master is going to be tough to deal with Spe spell breakers zero zero upgrades on those spell breakers raiders are zero zero upgraded as well let's take a look at where all of those units are going to go oh there's a poor peon let's take a look orc burrows kodo beasts Hi, how are you doing? Kodo Beast slowly digesting that as the Spellbreaker is going to be finishing off the remainder of those peons there. All right, there goes a couple more peons. No rule of town portal. The Archmage could just really dive back in here, 
focus all of the orc burrows as the blade master doesn't have a school of town portal to get back in there you're not going to and then just burn the school of town portal as you are going to be in a great spot all right let's take a look stormbolt no no stormbolt stormbolt onto the shadow hunter shadow hunter currently does have spirit link though what's going to happen zeppelin picks him up as the blade master spirit walkers all going to go ahead and engage mountain kings there is a thunderclap fighting around blade master going to lose a lot of mana but what is that mountain king going to do going to go ahead and try and throw a stormbolt there's another thunderclap instead as the blade master going after the mountain king mountain king has a potion of lesser invulnerability. Blade Master still getting healed up left and right. Archmage, um, well, take a look at this. A bunch of peons surrounding that Kodo Beast as units are just going around left and right. Blade Master is in trouble. Down to 40, down to 23 hit points. Unable to be picked up. Blade Master falls. And that, it may be the end of it. Grunts now getting taken down as well. 62 supply compared to 42. Blade Master illusion just still here kodo beast picks up some units as well where are we going to see the remaining units now um let's take a look raider low hit point raider going to get picked up and pulled away that one not in time this one is going to be in time though two low hit point raiders or now one low hit point raider in the air mountain king currently sitting at 400 hit points up to 489 or could we see a spirit walker get taken down right here ethereal form is a very bad idea kodo beast will get taken down no real chance whatsoever to get picked back up as all those units will get picked up here all right at this point romantic has such a large army he can just well orc burrows are now fortified armor no reason to try and dive on in there meanwhile guard towers are getting added in and i believe that will be the end of that um just too many units um, they're not going to be able to make it out quickly enough uh, spell breakers will be able to shut down the blade master the instant he is out and a 22 supply discrepancy going to be more than enough more spell breakers joining in on the fight regrouping across over here now, are we going to see perhaps no scroll of speed now being used there another voodoo lounge will get taken out no easy use of shop either as the raider and the grunt able to pull away and actually actually was really brilliant by fly and um, making sure to pull the army away um from the unit from the production buildings so that um, a raider and a grunt could rejoin up however that spirit walker didn't get the memo to walk a different way there goes a spirit walker there a uh, six unit peon surround to allow the sorceresses and the priests to do their thing torn totem now taken down let's take a look well nope left the game fly leaving the game romantic taking this with some brilliant play thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it